AI finds my product, AI makes it sell, and I make 105K a month. This feels totally illegal. This is my full course step-by-step -step showing you guys how to find your first product using AI. This is part four of six. Now we're gonna get straight into it. We're not gonna waste any time. I know you guys have a low attention span, so I wanna make sure you guys make it to the end of this video because if you're serious about building up your Amazon business, you do not want to skip this, okay? This is going to change your life. My name is Eric Cooper. I've sold well over $2 million on Amazon and consistently sell 100,000 a month. In this channel, I share what's working for me, what's not, some of the mistakes that I've made kind of along my journey, and I help others just take action on starting this business. No more procrastinating. Just throw yourself in here, make your seller count, and take action, okay? In this full Amazon scaling course, this is the six-part series. We're on part four, so I'm gonna show you guys how to find products to sell as a complete beginner that knows nothing about Amazon and the best strategy to use. And I'm also gonna be sharing you with you guys the software that pretty much has a bunch of AI features that helps you find your first product, okay? So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the software we're gonna be using to find all of the products and the software that I use to find all my products is going to be Scan Profit, okay? So make sure you guys get the Chrome extension. If you guys didn't see my video of part three, on how to you know get this stuff set up, what settings to use, make sure to check out that video because it walks over the features, the settings, all that stuff. But today, we're gonna be talking about exactly how to find your first product, even though you might know nothing about selling on Amazon. I'm gonna be showing you a very easy strategy. So the first key thing to using the strategy I'm gonna be teaching you guys today, which is pretty much called store spying, this is when you look at what other people are selling. The biggest thing I can tell you is you need to have a product to use okay so what i mean by that is on the scam profit tool if we scroll down here to the offers tab the offers tab are the other sellers selling this exact product so this amazon product these are other people selling this product okay so what we can do is we can then look at what these sellers are selling and steal their products we're basically just going to use ai to find all the stuff that these guys are selling and steal them okay now, the key thing here is you cannot just click a random product and use this strategy. It has to be a qualified product. Now, if you're watching this, you're like, Eric, I don't have a qualified product. Well, below this video, because you're here, I'm going to be including starting points that you can use that I know are qualified to use to find a good profitable item. So just look in the description below this. Um, and you will find a bunch of, it's a document of starting points that you can go ahead and use to just find more products, okay? You have to use those. If you just try a random product, it's not gonna work how you want it to, okay? And so once you have that uh, starting point product, you're then going to click on the seller. So for example, this guy, Wholesale Supply, K's in Wholesale Supply, he has four reviews. Key thing here, you want to specifically look for sellers with less than 30 reviews, especially as a beginner, the less reviews the seller has, the better it can be because it means that they're learning just like you're learning. So their products are typically gonna be a lot easier to find and source, okay? So we can open up this guy in a new tab. We can see what products they're selling. This guy has 55 products on his store. So you can see ace in count. This is basically the amount of products this guy has on his store and he has 55. So that's quite a few, not necessarily a bad thing. And then from there, all you wanna do is the product that you see potentially being a good fit, you wanna open them up. And the way you do that is just by clicking this Amazon logo. So I'm gonna take a look at this spoiled child product because there looks like there's a lot of demand, a lot of sales. So I'll click the Amazon logo here. Price is somewhat up and down. It's somewhat stable and inconsistent, but we'll see, you know what I mean? This is a product where our max cost, the cost that we need to find this product for is only 43, um, or sorry, it is 43, which is actually not too bad, right? I mean, this product you could probably find for 40 bucks. Whereas this product, I mean, we need to find this for, you know, negative $18. So that's, you know, not really realistic, right? So we're gonna take a look at this product. Let's hit the Google search button so we can open it in a new tab. And it's $49 from here. So let's open that up. win a special offer. So stuff like this is good. Obviously for the sake of the video, I'm not going to input my email here, 
but stuff like this is good because this could have a coupon or discount code which you really want to you know maximize that way you get stuff super cheap um, but so far we have one discount that we can use right here which is a subscribe and save 10 percent and that makes our cost 44.10 so even right now with the current selling price if we bought it for 44.10 you know we're making ten dollars profit this sells two thousand times a month the scan score is really good so we know it's going to sell right ai is literally telling us this is going to sell no issues at all right it's above a 6.0 so we know it's going to sell and it's already profitable so now what i would do is i would add it to bag right add it to your cart go to checkout they have a shipping charge so one thing to do is you want to oh it says free u.s shipping okay good so they just think i'm in canada which is fine but normally there's free shipping but now the biggest thing you want to do is you always want to add it to cart and try to add a promo code because sometimes your product may not be profitable without the coupon code so even if you find a product where it's not quite profitable add it to your cart and see if you can find a coupon that makes it profitable this is the difference between an amazon seller that is finding a ton of profitable products and one that's not the one that's not finding a lot of profitable products is as soon as they see the product is not profitable at the current retail price they give up and move on you can't do that you have to dive a little bit deeper you have to look for deals and discounts in order to make these products a profitable price so how i find all my coupons is i'll grab the website name so spoiled child and i'll search it and then i'll just search coupon and then from here we'll get a bunch of coupon websites that we can go and check out we'll check out this one 15% um, off store wide. Let's go back to the website here. Promo code not valid. And you'll see that on a lot of them. You know, they're not always going to work. But if they do work, join the newsletter and get 20%. So this is much better. I would probably want to use that. Let's try loyalty 10 really quick. wow so we can actually get this product for really cheap we can get this product for almost 30 dollars yeah we can get this product for 3410 the reason i say 3410 obviously you guys see here the total says 4310 but uh the shipping and handling would actually get removed because they have free shipping to the u.s okay so i sell all my products in the u.s and so what i would probably do is I would buy one unit at a time with the $10 loyalty discount. That way your buy cost is only $34.10. Now you're making $20 profit a unit at 60% ROI and a 28% profit margin. So let's just see here. Let's remove this really quick. Let's add one more item in stock. Obviously the first product I click on is profitable. I swear I did not uh, plan for that. Um, let's try entering in that coupon again. Let's go to checkout. And then, so yeah, so free US shipping. So if we just put United States, it should remove that shipping charge, right? Okay, so it's $5.95. Okay, they do have a, I guess they lie about shipping. Maybe if you input your actual shipping address, maybe they remove it. But our buy cost here is $40. So $40.05. So that's our fully accurate cost so $14 profit if you guys can sell 30 units of this which this item sells 2,000 times a month you guys are gonna make over $400 in profit if you guys find 10 items like this you're making over $4,000 profit in a month it is not rocket science to scale this business and this was the first item we opened up using scam profit if you guys just look up a hundred items, you're going to find 10 profitable products, right? If you, you know, obviously figure out what your percentage chance is of, you know, finding a, pro a product lead. But if you guys just do this enough times, you are eventually going to find a profitable product. Okay. That is all it is. It's just putting in time to find these items. The other thing a lot of people forget about when they're sourcing for profitable items is these free gifts. Okay. You can make a ton of extra profit literally just by looking up this free gift. So we can see this one comes with like a lip balm. 
So now what I'm gonna do is search this lip balm on Amazon and see how much it's selling for. So this, look what we just did right now. I want you guys to really pay attention to this because we just took a completely free item, right? This is a gift from this website and we just searched that product and this is it on Amazon. It is the Spoiled Child uh, Lip Balm. It has 50 sales a month and it's selling for $18. This means we're making, let's see after the fees, we're making an extra $11 in profit. So in total, we are making $25 in profit. So again, if we get 30 units of this product, we're getting 336 profit from this lip balm and we're getting another 400 in profit from this item. You guys are getting seven, 800, seven to 800 dollars in profit off of this one product. Again, if you find just 10 items like this, you're making $8,000 of profit every single month. This is how scalable this business model can be. All you guys have to do is just find these profitable items, which scan profit does 90% of the work for you. And you guys can start building up the business. Okay. We're going to go through a couple more examples, but this was the first product that I clicked on that turned out to be profitable sells 2000 times a month. And we're making over like 50, 60% ROI. All right, so I'm gonna walk through another example with you guys. Obviously, we just found this full child product, but uh, now we're on the same storefront. A really good thing you can do here is actually bookmark here at the top, right? So anytime you find a profitable product on a store, what you could do is just bookmark it to your Chrome. That way you have it so you can constantly check this seller because now that we know this seller does sell profitable items and good products to sell, we can bookmark him and then like, let's say we check back on this store in a month from now, we will now have, he will have new products that we can check out and they're probably going to be good to go ahead and sell. So it's a kind of a little cheat code that you can do. And the, the craziest ROI thing you could do is build a database of like 30 stores that are selling profitable items. And every month you just go through those products, right? And now what I do is since I have a VA team that does a lot of this sourcing like this, I can tell them, hey, build that catalog, check this every two weeks, every week if you want, or once a month, whatever you want to do. And you basically have an endless flow of those products. So let me show you guys again, just going through another example. Obviously, the first one we opened was good, and that's not always going to be the case. But you can see as you guys get better at this skill, um, you will be able to find more products. One thing to note, the really nice thing about this tool is we can see the offer count and how it goes up. So for those of you guys that don't know what offer count is, these are other people selling the product. So you can see how this offer count is slowly trending up and it's about to hit like 40 sellers, right? That is not always a good thing because typically when there's more sellers, it means the price is gonna go down. And that's exactly what happened to this listing. So you can see right here, it's around 32, 30 something. And then all these people jump in on the listing and you can see it just shoots down. And now we're only at like $22, $23 in sale. That is a huge decrease. This product is probably no longer at a profitable selling price. So this product, we're not gonna open it. We're just gonna move on and go to something else. Okay, this looks a little bit more stable. Um, this product where, like, like I said, the price looks a little bit more stable. Um, it's somewhat straight, right? So let's just open this up and I know by the way, I know these uh, graphs are going to be a little bit confusing when you first get into this, but don't worry. Don't overthink things. Don't just don't overthink. Okay. Um, so let's open this. This one's 50 sales a month, so it's nothing too crazy, but we can see that the price is somewhat consistent, right? Selling around that $70, $80 range. So now we just hit the Google search button and we check it out. Let's see what we can find it for. So it's $82 on this website. We would need to find it for 40 Okay, so that's super low. Is that price realistic? It might not be, right? One thing we could do is we could try deleting some of this title just to make Google search a little bit more specific. But this looks like an item that might not have a, a, potential, a potential for us to at least find it. Do you know what I mean? Like $82. If we buy 50 of them, we can get it down to 63 at 63. We still wouldn't be profitable though, but keep in mind, that's a discount opportunity, 
right? A quantity discount. We have 50, we buy 50, so we buy a little bit more in bulk and we get a cheaper price. This is a thing that most people don't think about as they're sourcing, right? They'll immediately see, okay, $82. I'm not gonna bother looking at that website. I'm not even gonna bother looking. But we just proved why it might be worth it to still open up that website. Now, is there gonna be a coupon that gets us down to this you know, $46 price range? Eh, I think it's a little unrealistic, so I'm not gonna you know, test that out. But that is how you want to think when you are sourcing these products. We're gonna open this one up and see what we got here. This one's 31. So let's take a look and see what we can do with this. So we'll just hit Google search. Um, we could maybe Home Depot, it's 27.30. We need to find this for around 15. That might be a little slim. I feel like I've seen this before at Lowe's for a cheap price. So let's just check out what Lowe's has to offer. 27.30 here. Well, let's see what Lowe's has it for. Oh, they don't even have it. Let's try um, just copying the title and then just pasting it into Lowe's like this. Instead of pasting it into Google, this might help with our search here. Um, so we have this one, this is 2298, but still very far away from the price that we kind of needed at, which is 16. Now, the big key that you wanna take in is as you start to source more, you wanna know what sites have what discounts. So I know at Lowe's, you can get a military discount. You can also get discounted gift cards, which will help bring your price down. And so just knowing that, it's like, okay, I see this is at $22.98 with a 10% military discount, with a 5% discounted gift card. That can bring us down to maybe like $19, maybe a little less, right? And obviously at that cost, you know, we're not gonna be profitable. So I might not bother. But as you start to, you know, recognize what, dis uh, what discounts you can get at what sites, you'll be also able to be a little bit more efficient as you source through items. But that is kind of the simple concept of how you want to source. It's really just clicking through items. And eventually, as you look at these more qualified stores, you'll find more products. So now that we found this product, the spoiled child one, now I should look at those sellers and find more products on their stores. So it's an easy, like endless rabbit hole of products. Okay. This is the easiest way to find an item. And I promise you guys, if you focus on this sourcing strategy, you will find so many profitable items. And like I said, as you find more, more products will multiply because you're like, okay, now I can use uh, this product to look at the sellers on here and you know check out what they have to offer. And it's just a never ending cycle of you finding more and more items, okay? So hopefully this video was helpful. My next video that is gonna be in part five is just the red flags you wanna watch out for before going ahead and just purchasing willy nilly products, okay? So that's a super important video. If you guys made it this far and you wanna check out um, some free resources below, I'm attending or I'm hosting a free uh, live event. It's gonna be 90 minutes long. I would recommend attending that for sure because I'm gonna be walking through this a little bit more in depth and I'm also gonna be doing a live Q&A at the end. So you can ask me any question you want and I will tell you exactly how to get around whatever issue you're facing and for those of you guys that have been trying this strategy and maybe you know you're making some mistakes or you're not doing things right and you just want to be, you know, have your hand held and work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can also apply below this video and uh, have me help you hands-on and pretty much just show you how to scale this business, you know, build a VA team, how to set up a little bit more systemized stuff. And uh, if you want, I can even show you how to never touch a product and so you can build this business and, you know, have time for family or whatever you want to do, okay? But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.